my name is Scott Blakeney, and uh, this is my second year at the University of Idaho. I'm a true sophomore, and I play the center here at the university. As you just heard Scott say, he's in his second season on the Vandal basketball team. But if you knew Scott during his first year with the program, there's a good chance you didn't recognize him coming into his sophomore year. So last year I was about 20 pounds heavier. I was sitting at about 240. And uh, I was a little bit slower, and I just felt like one of the ways that I could really up my game and uh, to get better is to try and lose some weight and get a little bit more athletic and fit. Scott knew that the process would take a lot of perseverance and determination, not only in the weight room, but in the kitchen as well. I changed my diet a lot. I, I just took out a lot of the uh, bad stuff like fast food and stuff. I cut that all out in the summer. A lot of people might not know this about me, but I'm a hunter and a fisherman. So last year I was able to uh, harvest an elk. And uh, so that was a big thing. I really like elk steaks uh, and I'll throw in some vegetables and stuff like that with them with some brown rice or some carbs and something like that. And uh, so that was a big thing. Another major factor that played into Scott's off-season progression was being able to train with the university's professional strength and conditioning coach, Jacob Scharnhorst. An opportunity that makes a huge difference when comparing collegiate athletic training to high school athletic training. It's a lot different because Jake uh, does a great job. He really uh, narrows down exactly what he thinks that we need to work on to improve in our sport, basketball. Versus in high school, I had uh, just a class in my high school, a conditioning class, and it was just kind of general conditioning, you know, just the general stuff that you would do to get in better shape. But Jake really narrows it down to what we can do to improve in basketball. After slimming down coming into his sophomore season, Scott has seen strides in his game in terms of both overall athleticism as well as pure skill on the court. Just the ability to get up and down the floor for a longer amount of time, I feel like that improved a lot uh, over the last year. And like you said, quickness also. Uh, being able to jump and try and get off the floor a little bit, uh, being able to guard some faster guys uh, at a higher level. I've been working a lot with like Coach Murph uh, with the back to the basket type stuff and uh, also facing up and trying to drive a little bit uh, both ways so we've been working on that a lot in practice. Even with all the successful progress Scott has made in the last year, he continues to maintain that sky is the limit mindset and knows the process is far from over. Yeah, I actually, I really want to get a lot stronger by next year. I definitely want to jump higher by next year, run faster, you know, typical stuff that a basketball player needs to do. Uh, next year, I really need to be able to defend a quicker position. I can do that by just getting quicker uh, horizontally, uh, loosening up my hips and working like that. So Jake will get us right in the summer. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Braden Kane.